Are you an investor and you are trying to figure out how to double your money as quickly as possible? You might be thinking stocks, you might be thinking crypto, and you might wonder how does real estate two to three X outperform those? You might've heard that. If those are your questions, this is gonna be the show for you. This is Purpose Driven Passive Profits, Hi, accredited investors. Hey, I'm so excited. We got a new deal right now. It's a 46 unit building, brick, solid brick in the race horse capital of the world, Lexington, Kentucky. Rents on this thing, they're 15% below what the market rate is around it. I know because we own several buildings in the area. We're buying this one 15% less. To learn more, all you have to do is go to homeinvest.com or click on the description down below. Inside the description, you'll see a link down there. Remember, always consult with a tax advisor, a financial planner, or attorney before making any investment decisions. Having said all that, all you have to do is go to homeinvest.com or click on the link that you'll find down in the description down below. Thanks, God bless, enjoy the show. The guy with me is Nate Armstrong. He is the founder and CEO of Home Invest. We are an Inc. 500 company. And my name is Steve Warner. I am the Chief Revenue Officer. And we are here to help you be great stewards of the gifts that God has given you. Nate, how are you doing today? Excellent, man. Super excited for this, this round. Okay, so I mean, crypto, two years ago, 18 months ago, it was going through the roof and then it crashed. Now it's kind of come back a little bit. Stocks, which I think a lot of people, when they think of retirement or they think of investing, they think of stocks, they think of mutual funds. Um, they think of, you know, like the S&P 500 or buying a Vanguard retirement fund. I had a really interesting conversation this weekend. A guy was telling me he day trades all the time. And he's like, I just don't understand how real estate is better. Nate, what have you heard in this? Because I know we've had a lot of conversations around this. Yeah, yeah. It, it invests so folks that do day trading, particularly, or put their money with a financial planner into stocks. They see the growth that's exciting. There's movement all the time. And so people kind of get jazzed up about it. But one thing that people oftentimes miss is that there's no tax benefit, T A X tax, tax benefit. What I mean by that is that by investing into stocks, you do not get to tell the IRS that you're going to pay less in tax. However, there's other assets such as real estate where you get significant tax benefits. I mean, that's the conversation that I had this weekend with the guy. He's like, I work for Tesla. Um, I day trade my retirement account and I day trade a personal account um, pretty much just going back and forth. And he was like, it's like, it's always up. It's always down. I'm always making moves. And I said, well, okay, just be really honest with me. Tell me tell me what your net return has been per year. Like, give me a ballpark. And he hemmed and hawed and he said, you know, probably around 10, maybe 13%. I think my best year was like 14. And I said, okay, that's a good return over a year. I said, have you had down months? He's like, oh yeah, I've had a down month here. I've had a down month there. He's like, usually they come back. I said, okay, what's your tax benefit when you day trade? And he was like, well, nothing. I said, real estate alone, one investment, in real estate of $100,000 with us should get you a 25K tax benefit. Now, of course, it all depends on the investment and all those things. I'll put a big asterisk by it. But as a whole, a 25K tax benefit this year, you're also going to get a benefit next year and the year after. If you put all those benefits together, you're basically getting the investment for like a 75% discount. And then the investment doubles, could double. I have to I have to say that, right? It doesn't always double. Like this is real estate, anything can happen. But the thesis is, and our plan is to double that investment within five to seven years. And it's paid for, it's basically free because of the tax benefit. Yeah. I mean, yeah. We, go ahead, is Nate. It, is it cool if I sketch it out and show, like I, I some people are listening by audio, so I'll do my best to do the audio version of this. But is it cool for those that follow on video for me to sketch it out as well, Steve? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Maybe just let me do share screen and then I'll I'll sketch this thing out. So Steve and I had a blessed opportunity to close on with some of our investor partners, a 166 unit building just a couple of weeks ago. And for this particular property, we came in and I'm going to pop it up. So it's this beautiful brick building in Lexington, Kentucky. We came in onto this particular property at a valuation of $12 million. 
And so I'm going to draw that out. For those of you that are listening just by audio, you'll just have to visually visually interpret this, okay? So $12 million, um, what happens next, oh, I got to turn on my pen. What happens next is that we go in and execute the business plan. The business plan on a multifamily real estate is to go in and increase rents. When you increase rents, when rents go up, what happens is that value goes up. That's how the value is determined on a commercial piece of real estate. Increase the rents, you increase the value. Pretty simple formula. Well, what happens is that we end up doubling the rents over a certain period of time. Uh, Steve and I bought another one 14 months ago that we started the rents at 500. We're already at 950. That's in just 14 months. It doesn't have to take forever. But let's just say that it takes us five years to take this beautiful brick building that I just told you about for 12 million bucks. Let's just say that it takes uh, five years to get where we want to go. And I'm being a little bit optimistic in this example to keep numbers super, super simple. We're not projecting that to our investors, by the way. We're doing much, much more conservative estimates. But let's just say that we do that. What happens is that we, we increase the value of this property. Let's just say that we do double it over some period of time. What happens is that we sell it on the backside of that. And when we sell it, there's a whole bunch of profit that's created. That windfall of profit, it comes very differently than you would get a profit in the stock market. You see, in the stock market, you're paying ordinary income. And listen to me carefully on this. Ordinary income is the highest tax bracket. The IRS loves to get their dirty little fingers on that ordinary income. If you want to start moving where most high net worth individuals move, most of our clients move, what they do is they like to receive their income as a passive long-term income. How do you do that? Well, you get into real estate, you let it mature. When it matures and we sell a piece of real estate on the backside of three years or five years, and then you collect all of your profit, you now get moved to long-term capital gains. So hear me on this one now. Long-term capital gains, the tax rate is half, half of what ordinary income is. So in addition to the tax savings that Steve just mentioned, Steve mentioned the 25K tax break that almost everyone qualifies for right off the bat when investing in real estate through accelerated depreciation. In addition to that, the way that you earn your income in real estate is also halved on the tax rate. So in my humble opinion, I'm not a CPA, not a financial planner, but in my humble opinion, the reason that most of our high net worth individuals come to us to invest with us is because we're way outperforming the stock market because we've got tax gains working in our favor. I mean, that is a huge, like all of those tax gains it's basically money that you're either not spending, not paying in, or you're getting back. And for a high, for anyone who makes a good salary like that, that makes the investment all worthwhile. The other thing that I would tell you is stocks go up and down. And at the end of the day, stocks can go to zero. Like that's what makes them a stock. It's a zero sum game. And it's not necessarily backed up by a hard asset. Whereas real estate is real estate. You own a hard piece of property that is backed by rents. That money coming in, as long as you have a good operator, somebody that has been in business and has proven that they can operate the property, that is going to be way more stable, in my opinion, than stocks. Just my two cents. I remember the day when I was a, a youngster and I put all the spare cash I had. I was young and didn't know any better. I was running my first business painting houses and I put all my cash into Eagle Technologies. It was this internet provider that was launching on city water towers to provide internet to every city across the nation. My um, One of my mentors at the time was all in on it. So he convinced me to go all in. And I remember within a year, Eagle Technologies filed for bankruptcy and I watched all of it drop to zero overnight. Meanwhile, rental properties, they can't Physically, I, I shouldn't say they can't because who knows what can happen. If you have a government that comes in and takes away land ownership, maybe something bad could happen. But in the history of the United States of America, since it was founded, you've never seen real estate values drop to zero. 
and I don't see it ever happening in in our in our lifetime. So real estate's a lot safer vehicle. Yeah, I would agree. All right. If you guys would like to hear about our current opportunity, you can go to homeinvest.com. That will get you on a call with us. We would love to review it with you. It'll either be myself or Sue. Um, either one of us, Sue, is our head investment advisor. Um, we can walk you through what an investment would look like. We can outline what the tax benefits would be for you. Remember, we are here to help you be great stewards of the gifts, the time, the money, and the energy that God has given you, and to help you double your money, grow your resources so that you can retire younger and you can create the ripple effect because we know when we help you make money, you are going to help your community, help your church, help the things that you believe in, and that will spread out throughout the world. Till next time, remember, be great stewards of what God has given you, and we will see you soon.